heading out of town, we decided we were gonna go to this museum. It was the only time we could really fit it in. And so here we are driving our rig downtown Des Moines and we come to try to find a place to park and I have no idea where to go. And so there was a drop off zone. And so I pulled up next to the building. I knew I could get out. Uh, there was a, an exit that I could get to. Um, there's a parking building next to us. And so I go in this and I asked right the lady. right downtown. I said, where can I park a big rig? Do you have RV or bus parking? And she was really nice and trying to figure out what we, we needed to do. And she actually said, well, just pull ahead a little bit. There's a bus drop off and you can just park there while you're here. Now, you can talk more to this though, but to be able to go in, into the the, um, the science museum, you had to actually book tickets and come at a certain lot of time. Yeah, they wanted to make sure that there weren't too many people in there. So we had to get our tickets beforehand, which is why we also did it on our way out of town because <laughs> we were just gonna go. And I looked up on their website and they said, you need to reserve. Yeah. So um, not a big deal. Bought our tickets online, they gave us emailed us a receipt and we had to show that at the door um masks were required the whole time and they took our temperature as we entered but when you go in there it's a nice big open area uh they've got a big open atrium and then they've got like four sections that you can go to and the first place we went to was a dinosaur Jax, what was the name of the dinosaur sue yes sue tell us about what did it look like what was it that we saw it was a dinosaur fossil. Yeah, and it told us a story with lights. It was really, really cool. And also really sad for Sue. Yeah. So the light show actually went through and explained how, what kind of life was like and what they learned about Sue. What, what made you so sad about Sue? What about the ribs? Remember her ribs? So there were spots in her ribs that were broken, so she had gotten injured several times, I think multiple times, they said. Her jaw had been infected, it had holes in it, That's right? That's what they said, yeah. What was your favorite part of the museum? What else did you see that was really fun? The star plane. I love the star theater. We were only there for a minute because we missed the show and the next show was not for another 30 minutes, but you walk in and it's a dome and they do kind of a star show. So that was kind of fun. They had stars taped out on the ground so you could lay down. Six feet apart. Six feet apart. They had a, a goofy little movie playing about telescopes and about the solar system and things like that. Remember the microscope you guys looked at? You turn the the thing and actually see different things show up on the microscope. Yeah. Remember that? Oh yeah. Daddy got to be a weatherman. That's right. Yeah, we did that. We loved doing that. There's a low pressure that's coming down this way and we're gonna have scattered storms. See, because it says right here, scattered storms. And Jackson's gonna be one of the storms. Yep, see him cycloning. <laughs> and then Hank's, Hank's gonna have a little bit of a hat. This is a high pressure. Oh. Just down through Cedar Rapids. Yes, we're back. Oh, here I am. Oh, here you are. <laughs> <laughs> so one section you walk into, it's it's all about physics, and they have a little thing where you can sit on this chair or a couple of chairs and try to pull yourself up with different pulleys. One's a simple pulley system, one's a more complex pulley system. So people, the kids, we got to talk about physics and why one was easier over the other. Do you remember the earthquake station? Yeah. What did you do? I was shaking. <laughs> what did you have to do before it started shaking? Do you remember the earthquake? Yeah, I loved it. Come talk about what you, Wait. what was it? What could you do at that little earthquake station? You build, there are these little foam blocks that you would build a, um, build a building that would be strong enough to survive an earthquake. It'd give you two minutes to build it and then it would go off, huh? Yeah. So the kids got to kind of play with the structures and what would withstand more movement versus another and 
So it was a fun little activity that they got to understand more about earthquakes. Do you remember we got to smell different smells? Oh yeah, we smelled a dinosaur's breath. It yeah. stinked. It was so. Uh, oh, do you remember also too, you could put your, your arms on this thing and listen to the roar of a T-Rex? Yeah. Oh yeah. The low vibration shook everything. <laughs> That's cool. Back in the physics room though, remember we had to build, what did you guys build with oh, those yeah. foams that had numbers on it? Arch. Oh yeah, oh, an arch. arch. And it was really fun. Yeah. Come on guys, work together. Teamwork, right? It, yeah. I think I think it you wanted to do it. Reese wanted to do it by yourselves, and we and we couldn't do it by ourselves. Yeah, we had to do it together. It took it took the strength of mommy. Yeah, and Isla. Yeah, and Isla can't leave her out. It's nice here in the, I don't know even what this, this is the Iowa Earth Room and they've got active snakes. We also saw some bees. The kids are having fun playing with uh, coloring some different leaves and plants. Uh, there's some fun things that you can do here. So there's a nice clean feel. People have been really friendly. Lots of visual things. I think the kids visually are stimulated quite a bit, but also learning along the way. So it gives them a good chance. It's a really great time to be able to, to instead of opening up a book and just saying, okay, look at this photo, and let's talk about this during homeschool. This is great where we can actually, they then get to ask the questions. So they can point to something and say, what is that? Why is it that way? And that's a really, a much better way for them to learn. Anything else you want to add? What have I you thought? I think this is darling. Really, really fun for the kids. How is this different than just doing homeschooling? It's always so much better when you have something hands-on, when they can touch things, when they can see it with themselves. Pictures can only do so much. YouTube videos can only do so much when they can actually see. They had a gift shop with <laughs> tons of stuff in it. We bought the one. gift shop, the best part of the whole thing. What did you guys find in the gift shop? Uh, silly putty, rock candy, books that you can color in, and water paint, and snakes, um, stuffed animal snakes, um, a huge panda. We didn't buy those things, but that's what I saw in the gift shop. I, I bought Silly Putty. All the rest of the kids bought, bought rocks. This boy loves rocks now. Yeah. He <laughs> wants to learn geology. <laughs> <laughs> There's like, um, they come in these little bags. You okay. have to buy the bags and then you can fill all the way up with Yeah, the there's a big bag and school. there's a little bag. The little bag was cheaper. Um, there's a, being overtaken by the there's a yeah. little blue one, there's a big blue one that I call Cotton Candy. Cotton Candy! Okay. okay, we're gonna end this video before it gets any more crazy than that. Okay, sign up is in, yes or no? <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right, that's it. <laughs> Cut.